Hey, I didn't even say hi, everyone. Hey, hello. Yay, it's date night. It's time for a date night. We're going to have a lot of fun at Cricket Date Night tonight. I hope we get it's date night. Oh, yeah, my son's joining us. The dog's joining us. Yeah, for only five seconds because I want people to like the photo that I took. Oh, yeah. By someone straight. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you haven't done, a, done that, do it now. <laughs> Please, it's yeah, really Yeah, you're going to have to put it on Instagram there. Though. I have another one that's coming on the way. Oh, okay. Hi, everyone. Hey, there's Dorothy. Hi, Rosalind. The mayor better be on this it's Shirley, No, he's not. She's oh, Shirley. Nancy and Rosio. Hi, Diana. Welcome. Yeah, we're going to have date night. And tonight we're doing a little bit of sewing. But we're also going to use our Cricut, the Joy. We're going to use the Joy and we're going to use the Mini to um, embellish some really cute dog. <clears throat> um, well, I call them dog. I started calling them dog bandanas, but... Then someone suggested that they needed one for their cat. And then I started thinking, you know, not all dogs are the same size as my little chunk of monks. So um, I changed it to four different sizes and um, even one very, very small that could could potentially, and we did check this, could fit on a guinea pig. <laughs> we checked it with our guinea pig, and uh, Freddie was our model today, and I'll, I'll post a picture um, later on. So we have uh, four different size um, fur baby, fur baby, let's call it fur baby, um, and fur baby scarves, and we have them in Valentine's, and I actually found a few scraps of um, some St. Patrick's or Irish or something, shamrock uh, cotton. This is cotton, and I literally just went into my scrap stash from when I was making uh, masks for everyone. And um, <coughs> um, and I just found little pieces of scraps and um, put this together. Um, yeah, I, see, my cat is naked. He walks around the house completely naked, never wears a collar. Now, my dogs always have their collar on. In fact, if they don't have it on, they just feel so uncomfortable. Um, they're not They're not being, uh, you know, they don't want to be naked. So, um, hey, Owen, everybody's saying hello to you. <laughs> Aledra and, um, and oh, there's Aledra saying hi to Benji. And um, Susan said hello, too. So um, so back to the, yeah, the gang's all here tonight. Um, and, yeah, we're all just kind of laying low and doing our thing. So, yeah, we were supposed to go um, have special dinner tonight. But it'll have to be tomorrow because it was too long of a wait. Anyway, um, <laughs> Shirley says hi, too. So this is the little bit, and so does Dorothy. Um, so what do you say? Say hello. Hola. Hola. He says hola. So this is the little baby one that I came up with, and I actually used the um, stretchy, like, uh, stuff that I was using for mac masks, um, and yeah, Lisa, yeah. Test them out today, folks. Um, so, oh, <laughs> and here's our here's our um, guinea pig. She's yeah, she's subject. most cooperative. Let's put this on her, and you can see. Look at <laughs> choo, 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 choo. this is my favorite guinea pig. Do 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 do. This is my baby girl, Bobby, and she's got her little bandana on, but we're going to actually embellish it. So, um, so uh, anyway, yeah, this morning, it wasn't actually a, a, a sound. It was like a feeling that happened here um, on the North Shore. Here, you can take her back. Okay. Goodbye, Bobby. Um, 
there was a lightning strike that happened around 6.30. And um, we, uh, it was like, you could feel it. It was like an earthquake. But it, it didn't make any sound because it was lightning. So it was just like a pulse of energy. Yeah, it was really weird. I and felt that too. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it on the North Shore. Yeah, I felt it uh, when I was in my room sleeping. Mm. I saw my phone shake as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, Teresa. It fell off my bed. We are like a zoo around here. We have um, we have Benji and Teddy Bear. Yeah, those dogs, are kids. those are our corgis. Yeah. We always have two corgis, um, and at least two corgis. So we had. Yeah, we um, only had like three once. Yeah, we had three once, Probably. and and um, and we rescue them. That's where I got the name Ritz Rita to the rescue is because we've done a lot of rescuing. Teddy Bear wasn't rescued, but um, but our other dogs have been rescues. So um, when I was coming up a name for my channel, uh, my girlfriend Dawn said, "Hey, it's Miss Rita," and then you know, and it's it sort of oh to the rescue, like rescue dogs. Then we have a cat. He's also a rescue. His name is Frank Sinatra because he is a tuxedo cat. Um, but we call him Frankie. And then we have guinea pigs. They are new um, in the last year and a half. Um, there's four of them. There was only supposed to be two, but one of them got pregnant. The one you saw, she got pregnant. And then she had um, she yeah, had a, a she litter. And so we decided to keep her because we loved her so much. And um, and one of her babies. Yeah, so there's four of them. Um, Frank doesn't – Frank is a very odd cat. He doesn't really, like, do cat things. Um, and so uh, that's why I kind of came up with this idea with this elastic because I think he would – because he's always, like, you know, just wears his tuxedo. Um, he doesn't like to wear collars or anything like that. Um, so that's that, that's all that. Hey, we had a really exciting week this week. So if you're just joining us now on date night, don't forget that we have all these really fun, uh, things going on, um, during the week. And if you can't make it cause you have to do something like work, boo, um, then you can always catch all the replays on my YouTube channel, which you can find at Miss Rita to the rescue. Um, so we did like a flamingo card, a llama card. We did two different boxes and I'm trying to think of the other thing we did. Uh, don't recall. Hmm. But we had a lot. Hi, Lori from, from, uh, Vermont. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Actually, they need to be redone, but we're just, uh, you know, making it a go of it in this pandemic. Can you believe it's almost been a whole year that we've been, um, doing this kind of laying low at the house and, um, I know. I, oh, Christy just started a new job, too. Y'all are going to go back to work on me. <laughs> then I won't have anybody to watch. Yeah, you have like 36 people left. I'll have to get a job. <laughs> you have a job. This list. You have a paper addiction as well. Yes, I do have a paper addiction. You should see how much paper Oh, is he's going to be my peanut gallery. Okay. Seriously. Move the yeah. camera. You can no, see they the know. They, they know. I know I made two of those llamas. I made two of those llamas. They're so cute. Anyway, so getting back to tonight. So tonight we're going to do these fur baby scarves. And um, originally I started making them in this size, which works great for corgis. And it actually has like a little... Uh, like a pocket in here. So um, you just take off their collar and slip it through. Um, and you, and, and that way it doesn't untie and all of that. And then you have this whole space right here to decorate it. But then someone said, um, 
uh, you know, what do we do with, uh, with our cats or smaller dogs? So I came up with, so that's the, I would call this the large size maybe. So this is another one in the large size. And then I did a medium size. So here's the medium size for a little smaller, maybe like a Yorkie. No, Yorkies are too small. Maybe like a little, mm, Pomeranian or something. Um, oh, okay. So I didn't, I, what I did was I created a file and I did post it on my page on the misread it to the rescue page. Um, and basically what I did was I took a, uh, a rectangle and a triangle and welded it together so that it looks almost like a, a baseball, baseball plate. plate, like the home plate Owen said was a home plate. And, um, and then I made this long because I want to fold it over and be able to put the, uh, put the, the collar in, in that space. So, um, so the, as it gets smaller, that space obviously gets smaller. So that's like medium. And then here is the small. So if you have like a real baby little teacup, um, dog, this probably would work for you. And I did post these on to my site. So I hope you can, um, pick them up there. There, it's just literally four different sizes of this, including the baby, baby one that, um, I don't know, maybe someone, um, yeah. So the collar threads through, um, and it, you can use elastic if you want, which is what I did for the guinea pig one, uh, because they don't wear collars, obviously. Um, and, and then, um, you have this little section here that we're going to embellish using our, um, joy and the easy press mini. Before I get started on that, I want to tell you that we do have some winners and I'm going to announce them. We have three winners this week, one from YouTube and two from, uh, Facebook that are top fans. Um, the YouTube one I picked as someone who is constantly engaging with me through comments and sharing and, and asking questions. So if you want to be a winner, then that's what you need to do is to really engage with um, the audience and me by asking questions or making comments, maybe sharing and that kind of thing. And then on Facebook, I don't know what it takes to be a top fan, but I'm using their algorithm to choose the top fans, okay? So um, they'll be winners tonight. Um, we'll also have a little bit of viewer mail because I did have some mail that I received that I hadn't shown you, a um, couple of Christmas cards, but that's okay. I did also get a Valentine's card th this day, today, yesterday. Um, and anyway, so we'll have some viewer mail. So anyway, so I did post this. Uh, it's a very, very simple design. Looks like a base, <laughs> baseball, like home base. And it's just simply, uh, it's simply a rectangle and, um, and then a triangle welded together. And then I made different sizes. So this one here, I, I forget, I forgot now what the sizes are. Are. Let me just check, okay? Um, so this one here is, let's see. So this one is about nine, about, I think it's nine and a half inches. This is the smaller. This one, the largest one is 11 and a half inches. Um, now remember, it's going to go smaller than that because you're going to sew around it. And then you're going to turn it over and then you're going to sew top stitch over it. Okay. But, um, this one starts off at 11 and a half. That's the largest size. And then, um, it goes down to, I think this is nine and a half. And this one here is like seven. Let me check. Yeah, this one's seven and a half. And then the baby one is just 
five and a half, okay? And now what you can do is if you have a larger machine, especially if you have a maker, um, you can actually cut out the fabric uh, on the machine, but honestly, I um I just cut these out as like sort of as uh, uh, pattern pieces, and then I used my rotary cutter and my mat, um, this kind of a mat that's on my table here, and just cut them out. Now you're going to need for each one, you're going to need two um, two pieces of fabric. And I wanted to point out, if you're not somebody that goes to fabric stores, maybe you're a little intimidated by them. Um, sometimes you can actually recycle things, such as uh, if you found, say, cloth napkins, or even um, some clothes that you like the the and I've had this where I've come across something that doesn't fit me anymore or I've purchased it at like savers or like the thrift shop and um, I've actually used the fabric to make um, to make the uh, the whatever I'm making. So you don't have to necessarily go into a fabric store if that's intimidating. They also um, have, say, uh, you know, also at Walmart, they sell fabric both online and in their store. And to make a couple of these, and I will promise you they're like potato chips, you're going to get, I, I think I made 20 today because you're just going to get a little bit addicted to it. Um, and I'm going to show you start to finish how to do this. And I'm just using, this is a very old machine. I've had it for 20 years. It's nothing fancy. Um, so if you got one as like a gift and you haven't used it and you want to figure out how to use it, um, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, and uh, there are lots of videos that show you things like how to thread your bobbin and, and your machine and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to assuming that I'm going to assume that you um, have a little bit of knowledge for sewing. Um, this is not difficult, very easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out two pieces and you're going to put the right sides together like this. Now, if you want, you can use pins. Um, I find with cotton, you don't really need to use pins all that much because um, it doesn't really move too much. So I'm putting the right side together. And um, then I'm going to then sew all around and leave a hole. I'm going to leave a hole here. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to sew all around here. And I'm going to leave like it, I don't want to say hole, but I'm going to leave like maybe two or three inches open. That's so that we can turn it inside out. Okay. And that's why we put it on the wrong, uh, with the wrong size out facing, okay? And um, then once we, once we have it all sewn around, we'll snip around the corners so that we get a really nice crisp edge. And then we will top stitch it um, along here so we'll have a really pretty finish, okay? So let me just start by showing you that. Um, this very basic. So I've already cut out, this is a large one, and I'll show you um, a few of the others. I have my machine on. It's on just a regular stitch. Um, it's like, mm, the tension's like maybe at a three or a four. That's gonna change with your machine. And I have white thread in here. Um, you, you can either match or do whatever you like for the thread. You know, we can do whatever we want because, <laughs> because it's our machines and stuff. Um, and, uh, and so there's that. So let's get started with this one. And I'm just going to start in the middle of the top here and I'm going to I'm going to start by just doing a couple stitches then I'm going to use my back button so that it kind of um it doesn't unravel and then I'm just going to go along and sew 
at three eighths of an inch. I know that because it's right here. So I'm just sewing along. You don't have to zip through it real fast, but then when you come to the corner, you're going to lift up your presser foot, then put it down as you pivot the, um, the bandana. And then we're going down to this edge, again at three eighths of an inch, pivot, by lifting up that presser footer and just going down to the point of the um, bandana, okay? So I don't have it on real fast and I'm just going through this. And once you get the hang of this, again, you'll probably make a bunch. Um, and so everybody in your family will have little, every fur baby in your family will have little bandanas. So here we go. And I'm coming up to the side part. I'm going to pivot again. And then the last time that I have to pivot, turn it like this. Now I wanna leave a little opening here. I wanna take you down a little bit. Leave a little opening here so that I can turn it inside out. Okay? And that is all the sewing you have to do on the inside part. And I'm just gonna get my scissors. Where did I put my scissors? Okay, here they are. So you want to um, make sure you um, you are going to trim, but you're not going to cut through your um, sewing, okay? So at the places where we pivoted, we want to make sure there's not a whole lot of fabric there so that we can get a really good, and this actually has a little piece extra of fabric. I'm just going to cut that off, but so that we can get a really crisp edge to it. And you see, I'm going around doing it all those little places that we did the pivot. Okay. And I'm also going to, while I'm at it, just kind of cut my strings here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opening right here and I'm going to turn and push up the entire thing through that hole, okay? And I know it's kind of, just be patient with it. We're going to just start with our fingers and pulling it out. And you can use your finger on the inside to sort of kind of start getting that shape. This is not complicated. It's just something that, so you don't see the back side of the, you know, the not good side. Now see, it's not completely uh, sharp as we want. So you can take whatever, you can take a pen with a cover on it, um, or you could take a little like chopstick. I always use my, um, my closed scissors and then I go to the corners and I sort of push them out so that I have a nice, um, a nice sharp corner. And I'm gonna do that in all those places, like here, down at the very end. Now, if you want to, and I would suggest that you do, but I'm not gonna do it here only because we won't have enough time, but, um, what I usually would do is make a whole bunch and then I would press this um, with my with my iron. But I'm not going to do that because I um, don't have time to, to do that. But so now we have a nice looking, nice sharp edges, right? And we, but we still have this opening here. So I want to go over it and do something called top stitch, okay? And that just means that I'm going to take and go all around the edges of this. It will close up this hole and it will give it a really crisp look um, so that, you know, the pieces won't like sort of bunch up when they're on your fur baby, okay? So back to the sewing machine. And this time we don't need to leave a hole. We just simply need to uh, do it like, I would say it's more of like, maybe it's like two eighths of an inch. It's really not, 
three eighths of an inch. So, um, which is what we did the inside part from. Um, okay, let's get going on this. So it's just a nice top stitch. It'll make it look really professional. Um, and that's what we're going for, right? And then after we finish this, there's only one other sewing piece that we have to do. And um, it's so simple. And this is what's gonna create that pocket for the, for the um, collars, okay? Or if you wanna use elastic. No, oh, I hope this doesn't, my machine is very old. Okay, and then Okay, almost done. So I'm gonna take it out of the machine to show you. Okay, so there it is top stitch and this is what I mean. It looks really crisp, very pretty. Um, and there you go, you only have one more thing to do. Well, besides you know, cutting off your bits of, uh, of thread is now you're going, you are Diana. Great. Now you're going to fold over this part. Um, and we're going to sew along and create that little pocket right there. Now, if you don't want to do this part, for instance, if the dog's collar is pretty, um, thick, I mean, my dog's collars, I measured them, they're about three quarters of an inch thick. So um, if you don't want to do this, you could also put little um, snaps here or even little bits of Velcro if you wanted to, okay? Velcro is always a good thing too. So, but I'm going to just fold it over and um, create this little sort of a, of a tube, a hole. Um, my dogs are, <laughs> Teddy Bear is a monster. He is a huge loaf, um, and he probably weighs, I don't know, 40 pounds. He's overweight. Um, yeah, he's chunky. Now, Benji is still pretty good size. He's only like 22 pounds. Um, and you know what happens is, you know, they get kind of to be homebodies, and um, Teddy Bear was all alone for quite a while um, this last time. So he ended up just being like a couch potato and he gained a lot of weight. And of course I fed him too much, but you know, now he gets out more, but he's, he's just a bigger boned Corgi than, um, than Benji is though. Okay. So I'm folding this over and you can use pins if you want to. I didn't really see a big need for it. It's not like I had this huge, huge piece. And then I'm just going over and sewing this here all the way to the end and then back up a little. And here we go. And that is it. That is a um, that is a dog bandana. This is I don't know what size this. Is. This is the medium size one. So um, I would say for a dog that is less than twenty pounds. Um, I'm trying to remember all the different dogs that might be less than 20 pounds. Um, min pins, I think would probably go to the even smaller bit. So just to review, you're going to cut out whatever size you think is going to work. And if it means you just have to hold it up to the, um, to your dog's collar, hold up your little, 
um, piece here, but remember it's going to be smaller than what your piece is going to be. Okay. Then you're going to cut out whatever size you're going to cut out and you're going to put both. You're going to cut out two pieces. You're going to put the right sides together and then you're going to stitch all around here at three eighths, but leaving an opening here. Then you're going to turn it inside out, it's actually right side out, and top stitch all around after you've made sure that your um, edges are all nice and straight. Do you want to see it again, um, or do you think that you maybe have it all? Yeah, a Shih Tzu or a Bichon, um, maybe this is more for like a Bichon. My dad had a Bichon that he probably would have worn this. Um, and these are super, super simple, don't you think? And um, I'm happy to show it to you again. A Shih Tzu? Um, it's so easy, really easy. I mean, you do have to have some basic sewing. Um, and I don't know if, you know, if you guys want to see this again, I can show you um, again. Okay. Um, but basically, you're going to do this and then you'll end up with all of these because you'll just go whip I want to make a whole bunch of these and now we can go to our Cricut and start coming up with cutesy little sayings and what have you for them so let me just push my machine back and by the way, we're going to do something else with the machine later in the week. So don't go sticking it back into the closet um, if you're interested. It's actually a paper craft that we're going to use sewing for. So I had cut out um, a couple of these. Uh, and this is actually in red uh, foil, like love you. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put them on here. But also I wanted to just show you how you would cut it out and then we'll apply it with, um, with our easy press. Okay. So I have my, um, my smart iron on, but I also have my regular iron on that I put on here with the um, non silky side facing up. This is the part that actually is going to get cut out. And um, then I'm going to get my, my joy. And let me just move my joy over so that we can see what we're doing. I'm going to get my iPad. While I'm doing that, I'm going to announce the first winner. Um, and also, I wanted to point out that last week we had, um, we had a couple of winners that I haven't heard from yet. So um, you have to, if, you, if I announce your name, um, you need to send me an email at my email address, which is Miss Rita to the Rescue um, at gmail.com. Last week, the winners um, were Becky Mills, but I did hear from you, Becky. Lynn Collins, I did not hear from you, Lynn. And Wendy Hoffman, okay? I'm not sure if I heard from you, Wendy. I, I don't recall. Um, okay, so um, the first winner this week is going to be on from Facebook, um, and it is, uh, Eileen Tagano Ramspacker. Eileen Tagano Ramspacker. Are you here tonight? Um, Eileen, she is a Facebook top fan. She has been one for, uh, many, many months and um, I know I see her on here a lot. So Eileen is our um, first winner, and I have two other winners there. So I'm going to um, open up on my iPad. I'm going to open up my Cricut Design Space, and you'll see here I went and I just did a little search with Mommy, and I thought, well, if there are fur babies, maybe they need to, you know, it needs to say Mommy's whatever. So um, there's my heart 
heart belongs to mommy and mommy's little girl and mommy's love bug and mommy's little man. Now these are, they look big on the screen, but they're all like sort of smallish, um, around three or four inches wide because I, I just wanted to make sure that it was going to fit onto, um, these, these ones. Now this is the large one, but I want to have something that's going to be small enough that it's going to fit on here. And you can find all kinds of, um, great things. If you're looking about, um, if you're looking for, um, what's the word? What is the thing I'm looking for? If you're looking, Oh, I, thought, I was wondering, Bren, I had to, it stopped me in my tracks a little bit. Um, so if you look for things that maybe you might put on a baby shirt, then like if you put mommy or daddy or whatever, um, you can find some pretty cool things and they're for all the different kinds of, um, all the different kinds of holidays. There's New Year's and Thanksgiving, Christmas and Hanukkah. They're all there. So, um, whoops. What am I doing here? I hope that my camera is on. Okay, so um, so here they are. I, I have just a few here, and this one is probably the big one. It says Mommy's Hiking Buddy, and this one is three inches, three and a quarter, 3.8. 3. So maybe I'll make this one a little tiny bit smaller just so it will go on um, this uh on, on correctly. So what we're going to do here, we have all these images and I've sized them between like two and three inches. Uh, one's a little bit, almost four inches and we're going to hit make it. Okay. Now we'll try it, um, without the mat because I do have some smart material and remember smart material does not require a mat. So how about we do it with, uh, with this gold piece. Okay. And so I'm going to choose without a mat. Now, one thing I want to point out here is that first of all, this all shows up um, and it shows up on three different mats. I'm not really sure why that is, um, except that I know that I can change it around a little bit. Now this sheet is only 12 inches and, um, I am going to check on this one here because this one and this one, for some reason, I thought they were all supposed to be the same color. So I'm going to go back to the canvas and I'm going to do something called sync. Um, right. So here you'll see, even though it looks like they're all the same color, it's actually not. I've got three different colors, which is why they showed up on three different mats. So if I want to cut them all out in um, gold, let's say, then I need to uh, combine these. And I just do that by pulling them down into that one color, three, 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 three through three. All right. So now when we go to make these, um, they will all appear on the same. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, um, four, oops, 4.25. There we go. All right. So, um, now we go and make it, we choose without mat and look, they all appear on the same mat. Isn't that great? And they're all going to fit onto, um, onto that one sheet of smart vinyl that I have the smart iron on. Now, the thing you must remember, hi Paula, the thing you must remember is, um, is that when you're doing iron on, you always have to mirror your images, okay? And you do that by going up here where this is your mat and you turn on the mirror switch is a toggle switch and you just make sure that it's showing green and you'll know you fit, you've got it right when you see that they, it's hard to read because they're kind of backwards. Okay. So there is our, actually there's one, two, three, four, five different ones there. We'll have to cut them out. Um, 
uh, once we once we get them cut, okay? So here, let's go to continue. And now we're going to choose our material. And in this case, we're going to choose Smart Iron-On. You see that right here? That's what we're going to choose, Smart Iron-On, because that's what this is. Now, I don't know if you just noticed, but here's my um, Joy, and the light is blinking. So that means it's ready, okay, to go. Now, I'm going to put this in with the shiny side down, okay? Um, I don't think we're going to have time to do the pillowcases tonight, but we will do the pillowcases again, okay? Um, and then we're going to put this underneath these little guides. It's going to take it into the machine. I'm going to move you so you can see this better. But it's going to take it into the machine, and it's going to start with the cutting, okay? So all I need to do is to get this on, and, and let me... Um, let me just show you what I'm gonna do. I hit go, and then it's going to um, it's going to start cutting, and it goes fairly quickly. So I want to make sure I have a weeding tool. Here's one. And while I'm waiting. Um, I'm going to show you a few, or while we're waiting, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, pieces of mail that I got. Sorry that um, some of them actually came really late. Um, so here is one from Bren. I know Bren is uh, on tonight. So look at this. She did this, uh, and I think this is from Rob and Bob. We are doing printed iron-on on Monday. And um, so this is from Bren, and she, I, is that stamped, Bren? Um, the, it did get wet, by the way, <laughs> that's not you, but it got wet. I don't know if it's stamped or not. Isn't that cute? That's from Bren. And she even put all these cute little, yeah, the mail is very behind. Now look at this one. I love this card, but it was very labor intensive. Um, and look, this is from Kathy. Mordecai, it says, Dear Miss Rita, thank you for all your wonderful cricket tips. I've learned a ton from you. Merry Christmas. And didn't she do that wonderfully? And she sent me a little gift card for coffee, which is wonderful. Um, so here it is. Isn't that great? And she used some mirror paper here so you could see. I think it looks really, it turned out really fabulous. Thank you so much, Kathy. And look, she decorated um the envelope too i love this love it just love what she did on the envelope as well um okay and then where's the third one i dropped it where did it go did i have a third one i thought i had a third one here oh maybe i dropped no i don't think i dropped it okay so that's viewer mail i'm sure there's more but um gosh i'm still digging out from christmas and um, let's see. So that's viewer mail. Let's check on our cutout, our cutouts, and see how we're doing. Well, it's still cutting out, but it's got five different cutouts there. While I'm cutting it out, what I'm going to do is open a browser. And I'm going to look for the heat guide, which is available. You can just go to Google and you just type in... Um, a Cricut heat guide and you'll come upon this and this is great for us to figure out how long we're going to iron we're going to use the iron on for so in this case I think I'll use the Cricut mini and um, we're going to be using everyday iron on it's a metallic and um, then we're going to choose the base material, and this is 100% cotton, so we're going to hit apply, and using the mini, I'm going to put it on medium, and I'm going to do it for 25 seconds, but I also need to preheat for 5 seconds, and then flip and press for 15 seconds. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to, uh, while this is still cutting out, I'm going to heat up my easy press and medium is the two squiggly lines so we have to allow that to heat up 
Again, you can read all of these or you can look at the graphic and it shows you how to do it. I have a mat here too that I'm going to do that on. I'm going to also go back and try it with foil because um, I do have some foil cut out already. So foil gets cut on low, I mean, sorry, it gets applied on low. You still do the preheat and the flipping and the and that, but you peel it cold. Um, yeah, it is. The mini is good for that. And actually, while we're talking about the mini, I will tell you that we still have a giveaway going on for a mini, a brand new mini. Um, and you just need to go to the raffle copter and put your name in. I, I've been putting it in the description of all the videos at the very bottom. So um, you have to just do two things, which is follow me on Facebook or YouTube. And then you have to put your name in at the at the link. And we're going to choose that within the next, oh, I'd say about 10 days. I want to just run it long enough so people know that they can put their, their name in, okay? So we've got so many to decorate. And I do have quite a few of these already cut out. Um, like I said, you and me, be mine. <laughs> There's one that's X's and O's and love you. And these are all the things that I just found. And I don't know about you guys, but my dogs are my Valentines all the time. So for me, this is completely appropriate. You couldn't figure out, Bren? Um, yeah, you only put your name in once and it's, you have to follow the raffle copter link and you have to like, check off the two things and then you can um then then that's it it's really it's very low key and a lot of people are saying oh they don't maybe i won't use it again but um they they don't think they did it right but well we're trying we're learning um okay so our cut is done so i need to unload it and here it is Okay, so here it is. I'm going to just show it to you before I start to weed. And maybe what I might do, so this says, my heart belongs to mommy. So that is the first one. And um, mommy's hiking butter buddy. That's the second one. And then there's mommy's little girl this one is mommy's love bug and then the last one is mommy's little man so i'm just cutting them up so that you can it's a lot easier to weed like that so here's my weeding tool and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the um and i work from a flat surface but i want to show you how to do it but we're going to take and um, hook use the weeding tool to hook onto the material see how the material it is it's on a plastic backing sheet this is the material we cut from and this is why we did it as mirrored because we're going to actually once we get it completely um we did then we're going to turn it over and that plastic sheet becomes kind of like the shield for when you're putting it on your whatever your project see that and that is how you do it. And then we're just going to, I'm going to use it from here so that I can get all the little pieces. Mommy's little man. Did I get everything? Nope. I have to get the little piece inside of the A. Tiny. Okay. So here is, I want to get that little piece out, mommy's little man. Isn't that cute? Um, and then here is, let's get the scissor because this is extra. And I hook that like this and then I start to pull. 
and I might have to hook it again. All right. There's mommy's love bug, but I do have to weed a few more of the pieces so that you can see it correctly. Mommy's. It's very small. <laughs> All right. Just make sure that it's it's weird because I have to. I'm used to putting my head real close to it, but also working on a flat surface and, you know, you know all the troubles. Oh, the troubles. Anyway, so you're going to weed this. Just make sure you give it a double check because it's really difficult when you accidentally forget you know you forget something and and um you it's not super impossible but it's very hard to undo that mistake you have to reheat it up and you have to be very precise and pull out that piece and it's just kind of better to double check you know and how am I doing okay Did we ever hear from Eileen? Eileen Rasberger. She was our first winner. Okay. I think that that's done. So you would just proceed on with this, like this. Now I have my, um, my mat my completed uh, bandanas. And um, so here I think that one is a great size for this. And I hope that this is gonna show up. Let me see if I have a smaller one. Will this fit on this one? Mommy's love bug. Mm, it's still a little small. How about this one? Yeah, that's cute. Like that, mommy's love bug. How's that? All right. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to change the way that you are seeing these. Okay, here we go. So this is where this one here I'm going to put here. But um, do be mindful, there is that stitch across here. It shouldn't cause a problem, but um, this is a little bit, maybe a little bit bigger than it, than it should be because of the ears or the antenna. All right, so that seems good to me. And this is all heated up. So we're going to, um, oops, I forgot to preheat. Definitely preheat, folks. I forgot, got kind of over uh overwhelmed there i apologize you're supposed to preheat for five seconds and then you're supposed to um do this for 25 seconds and let's see it's on medium and you really need to make sure that you're moving around with the mini but that you're getting all of those spots for the 25 seconds so it might seem like a little bit longer because you're doing it 25 seconds on the entire design, if that makes sense. Um, let me just double check. It's 25 seconds. Yep. Okay. So this is 25 seconds. I want to make sure I get the little antenna. Okay. And I'm going to flip it over and do the other side for the 15 seconds. Remember to preheat. I did not preheat this time. So do as I say, not as I did. <laughs> All right. So I think that that's probably good enough. I'm going to let it cool a little bit. And maybe I'll find something 
else to do? How about how about this one here? This looks kind of cute. Maybe a bit a bit bigger. Let's go with this one. This one says love you. Now this one I have to turn down the heat to just being one because it's foil. All right, so we can do the love you or maybe even be mine. What's another big one we have? Is this, oh, look at this one. This one's cute. That one, <laughs> that one looks really cute on there too because it's hearts and it's got the, the pointy part. All right, I'm going to preheat this time. Just a few seconds. It's still not completely um, at the one point yet, but. Okay, and I wanna just double check. I'm gonna do it at low for 25 seconds. It's foil at 100% cotton, and um, here's the way I need to have it set up, okay? Okay, and it's ready. So let's go ahead and start with that. And remember, it's 20, double check, 25 seconds on low. We're gonna peel it cool. So, we have to get all of the um, area of the design and kind of keep it moving. Make sure you get the entire design all around. Okay, so while I'm doing this, let's announce the YouTube winner certainly hope she is on Laurie Hockett H-O-K-I-T um, Laurie Hockett is uh, the winner from YouTube she's she's always commenting on my uh, posts and the videos and sharing them and and all of that so congratulations to lori hockett l-o-r-i hockett h-o-k-i-t and you need to send me okay teddy bear need to send me um an email at Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. And I need to have your um, address so that I can send you um, the prize at the end of the month. Okay. Remember, this month we're doing it a little bit different because um, in the past we've done where we've um, just picked people based on how long they've been watching, that kind of thing. And so we're doing it a little different. I find it's a little bit hard because I don't know that those people are going to be on when we make the... Um, uh, make the yes he is congratulating Laurie when we make the announcement so um, that it's it's a little bit harder so okay here's the mommy's love bug that's done and I'm just going to start peeling I always peel rather I don't like just rat rip it off I don't know why I just feel like maybe it's not gonna work but it always does work okay so there's mommy's Love bug with the little antennae. I think that looks really cute on there. And let's go ahead and do this one. Is this one cool? Okay. All right, so if you are a winner, if I called your name, remember um, there's still... 
from last week, Lynn with an uh, L-Y-N, no, not double N, Lynn Collins and Wendy Hoffman from last week. And so far tonight, we have Lori, L-O-R-I, Hockett, H-O-K-I-T, and Eileen Tagano Ramsparker, R-A-M-S-P-A-C-H-E-R, Ram Sparker. I might be mispronouncing it. Um, but it's Eileen. If you, if those, if that's you, send me an email at Miss Rita to the rescue at Gmail. And I need your full name and address so that I can send you a prize at the end of the month. All right. This one's ready to peel. Um, and so here we go. Ooh, I like the foil. It looks really nice. There we are. Ooh, look at that. Look at that foil. Isn't that great? Now, all of these images that I just showed you um, or that we just cut out, they all came from Design Space. And if it would be in if it would be good for you, um, I can send you the link to all of these as well. Um, and just so that you can kind of uh so you can kind of look at them as well. Or you can just look them up and um, find them on, on Design Space. Let me just try this red one that we did. How about Mommy's Little Man? That's going to look so cute, right? Mommy's Little Man. I just need to make sure I get rid of these little pieces here that were like left over. So this is a really fun project. It's a way if you received a <laughs> a sewing machine for a Christmas gift or something, or you have a little um, a joy or a, uh, the mini, you can also do it with the larger machines, of course. But I love that this can be done on the um, the joy and with the mini. So um, let's do this, mommy's little man. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Um, yeah, actually, I did. Ta I tried to take pictures of them. They they did get brand new ones. They were wearing ones that were from the. Oh, I forgot the preheat again. Okay, here we go. Um, they they had ones that were flannel. Remember, we did the flannel ones. So they were wearing the flannel ones with the like green and red polka dots on it. So um, I took them off and gave them brand new Valentine's ones. Well, actually, I think I gave Benji a, a St. Patrick's Day one, and I gave Teddy Bear a Valentine's Day one. Okay, so we're just going to use, and it's all heated up, it's all heated up, and we're going to make sure we get it all around. <laughs> yeah. I know. Sometimes when you get those real hairy dogs, they're hard. And they fall. They they sort of get um, lost in all of that fur. So this is a great, easy project if you're just trying to get your feet wet with some sewing and um, and you want to sort of embellish it. And who doesn't want their fur babies to look good, even if they are teeny tiny little um, guinea pigs like mine or my little guys, or if you have a little cat that would actually wear something like this. And again, um, I made these so that the space here would fit through a collar. Um, and if you if you don't want to use that, you can use, like I used a little bit of elastic. Like this. If, for instance, my cat is always naked, so, um, so this one would go on him. And believe it or not, he will wear that because Frank um, is... He would wear that. He's worn for Owen has worn things like uh, 
goldfish costumes and and uh other things uh what did he have once he had an elf costume um once so he's actually a little bit better the dogs do not like costumes too much so um so this is perfect for them because they don't like the costumes again guinea pigs are easy they will just do whatever you want they don't they don't usually um complain I should let that I should let <laughs> I'm always like trying to 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 rush it okay so again there's the mommy's little love bug and there's that really nice foil XO on your very own made dog bandana. Obviously, if you don't sew, you don't want to sew, um, you can use the dog bandanas that you get from PetSmart or whatever and just embellish them. So do it at the level of what you want to do, okay? Yeah, Frank, Frank, um, he doesn't usually come out here and, uh, he in the winter time he does just kind of hang in the spring and summer he likes to go on the back porch and i think he likes to look for mice um so there we go okay mommy's little man isn't that great so that's that's this project um and I hope you'll try them. And if you, if I will put after the, after the video is over, I'll make sure to put the link to this project in the description. So if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you look in the description and you'll find the link to make the bandanas. And then if I can, I'll, I'll also go back and make sure I put all of these other cutesy little sayings, but you can find whatever saying you want and um, put them on there. Okay. I think that's it for tonight, although I do have one more winner, um, and that is, and I think I did see her tonight, because, oh man, I hope so, um, Paula Soros, are you here, Paula, um, I hope she's here, <laughs> Paula Soros, I think I saw you that, oh, I hope you're still on. So Paula Soros is our third and final winner for tonight. Now, if you didn't uh, win, don't worry. There's so many chances to win. And um, if you did win, you need to send me an email again, Rescue at gmail.com. I saw Paula. I know I, she, I said hello. I think I said hello to her. So, um, so she, maybe she got kicked off or something. So thank you so much for joining me tonight as we made these, um, adorable, uh, dog or fur baby bandanas so easy you'll feel extremely accomplished um when you when you uh get to do these and remember that we also have our daily chats um at nine o'clock on facebook live and those we have we do five projects a week and then we do one for cricket date night so if you're following along you'll have in the course of a month 25 projects to do and so you'll never get bored with your cricket okay and um let's see was there anything oh monday is our mystery material and we are doing printed I'm sorry, patterned iron-on. We're going to be doing that on pre-made pillowcases, but I know somebody wants to learn how to do those pillowcases that we made at Christmas, so I'm going to make sure that we do that um, coming up too. What else? Also keep your sewing machines out because I have a, a lovely little garland that you were going to make from paper and we're going to sew it together um, using our machine. And if you don't want to use the machine, you can always use um, 
put holes in it and make it from baker's twine. So there's two different ways that you can do it. So we'll see you hopefully on Monday morning um, or on the replay. Thank you so much for coming and um, we'll see you again really soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs> I love this one. Dorothy, we'll miss you too. All right, I got to hang up now. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for all those wonderful hearts, Aledra.